What is going on YouTube? This is Eminem Gaming. I wasn't gonna do this, but welcome to another Toxic Tuesday. This is number 11, okay? Didn't think that was gonna happen this soon, but ended up getting some very toxic players. I mean, when I tell you they're toxic, like you're gonna see how toxic I'm talking. All right, so we're just gonna go, this is live right now. This just happened. I'm in the middle of talking to these people. They are so toxic. They were spamming me. If you guys look at this, I have 11 invites right now. I had over 20 invites right now, just recently after I joined their party, I got another 11 invites because they were spamming the living crap out of me. And so I can't tell why this, I don't know why this isn't, okay, there we go, now you can see it. Right up here, 11 invites, all right? So I'm gonna click on that. Let's just count them because before those 11, these are like more right here. There was like 18, including all these, there was like 18 because I had joined their party about 10 minutes ago, so I deleted most of these these invites. But look how many invites I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Don't count, Cola King is my friend. But these people all spam me to an invite, not even in the game, they're not even part of this game. Um, not, that guy's not even in this game, but they were like six or seven of them in a party and I joined after about halfway through this match after I was playing and they just basically invited me to a party and wow, they actually had something OP. Start the trial, so okay, wow, pretty OP, try hards. But they were spamming the living crap out of me and then I got messages from some of them and one of them included from this person, which is actually in the game, B, yeah, B Army, that person's in the game. They got the least amount of points. They were the person that I kind of tunneled because they were being so toxic. And so he messaged me, he said, you will be banned, reported to Dev and Xbox. I said, okay. I wasn't camping because what happened was, let me explain to you guys, the main thing that was kind of unfair to me that they're accusing me of is that they were all in the area and I was not camping. I was chasing somebody trying to get them off the hook. Like as soon as I hooked them, there were people right there. I saw someone, I started chasing them. They were running around the hook. So how am I camping? That makes no sense. These people are sitting here trying to accuse me when I didn't even do anything wrong. And so this person wasn't even in the game. And then he, this guy's over here messaging me. He's over here messaging me. He's not even in the game. I, I messaged him after he like started. This is the guy that spammed me with like over 30 invites. No joke, 30 invites. And I messaged him after he started spamming me. I said reported. And as I, I messaged him, he messaged me at the same time, I guess, because he wrote this voice message. So I'm going to play this for you guys. He, keep in mind, this player is not even in the game, but he's in the party with some of the people that were in the game. I'm not sure if everybody in this game was in the party, but there was at least six or seven of them in the party that were in the party that were in the game. So, um, or there was at least six or seven of them, which some of those people were in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and show this to you guys. We're going to listen to this message. You know, Camp Trash, you've been reported directly to one of the developers who I'm friends with. And you've been reported to Xbox. The entire party's reported you. What that Seriously, dude, can't wait for your band to come in. So this person has threatened me in a sense of he's not even in the match. He's not even in the match. And he's over here saying all these, ha he's, he's accusing me and he's trying to threaten me and all these sort of ways telling me all these players are going to report me. Everybody in the party, which was like six or seven people that aren't even in the game are going to report me. That's not even any of their business what happened in this game, which nothing, um, you know, unsportsmanlike, unsportsmanlike happened. Nothing happened of that sort. And they weren't even in the game in the first place. So. Doesn't matter if I'm reported, bro. Guaranteed you're going to get a ban. I can't wait for it to happen. <laughs> nothing I did is reportable, so good luck with that. Uh, yeah, because, like, the devs actually really care about console. Like, the devs are a little bit more sensitive on PC. They're a little bit, you know, more... Um, you know, they, they keep up with everything on PC, but they could give a shit about console, honestly, because they don't even, they don't even, half of the features that are on PC, like the chat at the end of the game, where you can do a chat real quick, a couple texts, none of that is even on the game on here. None of those specific features with, you know, certain aspects that come, everything comes on a PC first. They could care less about the console. Now, yeah, they do, you know, take things serious about console, you know, no, no doubt, but Everything is more prioritized for the PC, and anything that gets on PC is later added to console. Especially the fact of people DCing. That's not even a trip. That's not even a feature on here where if you DC, they can start striking you for it. That's not even on here yet, and that's been on PC for the longest time. So again, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. You've been reported by every other player in the game as well. Good luck, trash. So he's over here trying to tell me that everybody in the game. And everybody in the party reported me. He's not even in the game. He's not even in the game. Like, I gotta, I gotta bring that up to him because I'm a little bit confused as to why this guy's over here messaging me when he's not even in the game. And these messages were very harassing. I mean, I am definitely gonna make sure that I report him 
for um, voice because that was very harassing. And I'm gonna make sure that when I report him for voice in a second on my phone, I'll type in all this, um, st you know, all these different things that he was trying to do because he's over here spamming. I'm gonna join his party just to give you guys a little bit because I have all these invites. If you guys don't notice, I have all these invites. Oh, now they, they disappeared because I clicked on it. So I was gonna try and join his party so you guys could hear what he's doing and what they were saying and everything, but I can't now because they're not even in the party. But I mean, these people, just unbelievably toxic. I mean, I just cannot believe how toxic. Honestly, I kind of want to message him and say something um, along the lines of, <laughs> um, who is this? Or I don't even know. Like, honestly, he wasn't in the game. Like, I don't understand what this guy's coming at me for. I mean, he's over here. He's over here accusing me. I'm going to say spamming me. Spamming me. And, no, honestly, I'm not even going to say anything. I mean, I don't even want to respond back to him because, I mean, I'm curious to know what the, what the thing is, but I don't even want it to be on this, inf on this like, conversation history. I want it to show as much on my side that he's over here harassing me, and I'm not even doing anything. He's over here harassing me than me even responding back. I think that would actually help me a little bit. I'm not even going to respond back. I'm just going to report him and leave him, leave him at that. But these two people, very, very toxic. As you guys can see, I just finished in this match. Let me lower the volume now that we finished in that match. Um, so this person, if you guys can see here, um, he wasn't even in the game. We have uh, Emphoria Chan, X Love, One Hot, Hot Mama, uh, BA Army. I've played with BA Army. I've played with Emphoria Chan, whatever his name is. And I've definitely, I think I've played with Love. I know for a fact that I've played with BA Army. I've played with him many times. Um, I'm surprised I even got his message because I'm pretty sure that I've gotten messages from him. I blocked him. I know for a fact I've played with this guy. I can actually show you right now. I probably have him blocked because I probably played with him. Yeah, actually, no, I don't have him blocked. So I guess maybe, um, I think that guy wasn't in the party with them. They must have not been together. I think this guy was in the party with them. The, the, all three of these people have their account offline, except for this one. So I know for a fact this guy was in the party. If you, if you guys can tell, the, his gamer picture was one of the people that invited me to the party. So he was in the party. He's with them. He's, he's like all in with them. But um, this person is probably the only person, or not this person, the Furia Chan is the only person I'm not sure about. I think all three of these people are in a party and everything. But for one thing I'm not really sure about is why this, the return of, is over here messaging me and getting all toxic. Like, he's over here telling me that he knows the devs and he's this and he's that. And he's not even in the game. Like, how do I even know that he has this game? Like, honestly, I'm about to go to his profile to figure out what the hell's going on here because that, that is really unbelievable how just toxic and harassing this person was. Like, that was just crazy. So if I can see his friend list, I'm gonna see if he's like, okay, so he doesn't even have, everything's blocked on his part. So he blocked his entire account so nobody can see what, he, what he's doing. So, okay, never mind. All right, well, anyway, um, the main thing for me is, if you guys um, didn't notice, I mean, so the return of BA Army 3, definitely this person over here, the one hot mama, one and then H-A-W-T uh, mama, um, all together, and then BA, um, army three Th those people very toxic be careful when you're playing with these players honestly i would go ahead and i would just block or you know avoid the return of because that was the most like toxic play i've ever seen in my life like i mean i can't even explain to you guys how toxic that was but anyway i'm gonna move on to a situation now that we're at it i'm gonna move on to another situation i had with a player yesterday his name is jt thomas one two three now this player he was being very toxic i've started up the match as a trapper i trapped him or I, he was destroying my hex at just as I was about to put a trap at it. I was going up to the, the hex, and he, um, he, he, like he basically, um, he he destroyed my hex after I put two traps, and he bypassed both traps, which I don't understand what that issue is with everybody always bypassing my traps so easily when I have them right in the center of a pallet, right at a window, you know, like it's not in, like it's not even off of the window. It's like right in the center of the window and everything, and they always end up bypassing for some reason. I don't know if it's a glitch or something that people keep, um, you know, exploiting or something, but. He bypassed two traps to get to my hex, and then he didn't even, you know, he didn't disarm them. He just, ex he just went right through them, and he, uh, you know, he bypassed them to get to the, you know, the tra the hex. He destroyed the hex, and then he decided to go ahead and disarm the traps for whatever reason. I don't know why. After he already disarmed it, uh, or after he already, you know, destroyed the hex. So at that point, it gave me time to catch up to him. So I hit him. Finally, I was able to, you know, get find him, hit him. At this point, I'm chasing him. He hasn't like lost me. He hasn't you know, uh, lost my tail, I'm still right behind him. And I end up knocking him down as he's trying to like pallet loop me around the killer shack. As Soon as I knock him down, I start to destroy the pallet, he DCs. 
I start getting all these, I got, these three messages right here come through at this point. These, these first three messages come through. I start getting all these messages. He starts spamming the invites, whatever. And so I end up finishing the match. I look at the, the messages because I was trying to look at my phone to see what, what the messages were. But the problem is Xbox decided to make this new thing where you have to have these new messages that come to your Xbox. They go to um, message requests. It goes to that column. So when you're on your phone, it won't even show you the message. It'll say if you want to accept it, but it's still like, I guess, a beta. So it doesn't even work. It won't let me accept. So I had to do it from Xbox first. And so at that point, I didn't do it right away. So I waited until after the match. And then I saw that he had messaged me and he said, we can't, I couldn't heal, take it easy on them, no one can heal. And then he said, uh, don't be a tryhard. Now, it's not my problem if you can't heal, all right? If the game is glitching out, that's not my problem. I didn't do anything, I'm not the one that caused it, I'm just playing the game. Now, I'm sure he's the one, to be honest with you, that caused it because he was the one trying to bypass traps, probably using dead hard or some sort of other thing when he really should have hit the trap, he ended up trying to bypass him that way, which I don't really understand how dead hard, I understand that dead hard is supposed to be no damage is taken when you use the perk, but I don't really like that whole thing where you can just bypass a trap. That's kind of stupid. Now, yeah, you're wasting your dead hard just to bypass a trap, but that can mean the difference between you escaping and not escaping, and that's just really OP, and I just feel like that's kind of an exploit. And also, you know, obviously glitched out the game because he had dead hard, and um, you know, he had all these different perks that were really OP, like Metal Man and everything, but he had dead hard, so I'm sure that's what he did because he glitched out the game. And so then he leaves me a voice message right afterwards because I said reported for spam or whatever. I just said reported because he was spamming me. And then he left me a message. Now, just you know, be careful with this uh, message. I'm not sure how loud it's going to be, so just you know, take caution with your volume because I'm not sure. I just want to make sure it's loud enough, but here we go. You are the biggest tryhard that I've ever seen. We could not heal. We could not Idiot. Heal. Idiot. Okay, so yeah, this person was very pissed. Now, it's not my fault that he's over here doing this shit, and then he wants to blame me. Look at this. He's blaming me. He says, don't worry. We all reported you for exploits and cheating. He's trying to tell me that I'm exploiting and I'm cheating when he can't heal. How? What could I possibly do to make you not heal? What could I possibly do to the game? I mean, what, what do you think? I'm rewriting the script on the game? Like, Do you think I actually physically took the game and I, like, I tampered with the entire system to change it so that you can't heal? Like, what? How do you think, I mean, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, come on, bro. And then he's like, recorded and reported. Now, he did not report, he did not record it because I looked at his gamer tag and uh, when I went to his uh, captures, it was not there. The, la the latest thing that he had was something about him playing against the pig, so he, it was not there. I messaged him a couple other times. I don't even know what I said, but I just deleted my entire side of the conversation because I wanted to go ahead and just block him and you know move him out of my, my DM. But he says, shows how evil you are, no compassion. And then at this point, I remember exactly what I said. I said, did you forget what game you're playing? Because he's over here telling me about that when he's over here playing Dead by Day. Like, did he forget what he's playing? And then um, he basically says, wait, this isn't words with friends. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so obviously this guy's over here just trying to get a rise out of me maybe. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. I really don't know. I mean, he's really all over the place. Maybe he's just high. I, I don't really know. And then I just said, okay, hop out my DM. Because at this point, I'm trying to bring him to my party so I can explain to him what's going on. And I can explain to him that he's the one that possibly may have done that, you know, glitched out the, the healing because, you know, if it's not letting him heal, how could I possibly not let him heal? Like, wh what could I possibly do? What do you think I'm physically tampering the game? Because, I mean, that's not even relatively um, remotely close to what I'm doing. So I basically just said that. And then he said, uh, see ya or chow or whatever the hell that says. And so at that point, I left it. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can show you guys his uh, profile because he said that he recorded it. And I think he was just trying to, you know, get a rise out. Wow, that's a really stupid game. Okay. Well, okay, so I'm not sure why he doesn't show it now because before I was actually able to look at his stuff. Now, I did block him, so I don't know if maybe that's why I can't see his stuff, but I don't really see why me blocking him would not allow me to see his stuff. He may have blocked me. I don't really know. I mean, he's the one that started messaging me first, so I don't really know. But anyway, that's that. So those players, very toxic. Like I said, these two people and all those other people in that party, very toxic, over here trying to, you know, threaten me. I mean, this is like straight up threat threats that he's sending me right now. He's not even in the game. He's not even participating in this match. He has no idea what's going on. And then JT Thomas one two three, very toxic player over here, accusing me of tampering with the game because he can't heal. I mean, come on, come on now. These, these players, I had to make another Toxic Tuesday because that was ridiculous. Especially when I just had this situation happen. That was very uh, unsettling for me to have someone 
threaten me that badly. And then on top of that, he's, he's not even in the game. I mean, like I said, I mean, what, what is going on with these people? I mean, I just don't understand. I mean, dead by daylight, more like sensitive daylight. I mean, come on now. I mean, I don't even know. People are way too sensitive on this game. If you get on Friday, nobody messages you. Nobody gives a shit. If they DC, they're just going to DC. They're going to move on, whatever. They're salt mines, whatever. They have it all taken care of. Everything's all set. Nobody gives a shit. But you get on this game, everybody messages you. Everybody, I mean, it's like a whole thing. Like, relax, my God. I mean, it's just a freaking game, my God. These people, they're too toxic. And I ended up getting a 4K anyway. If you guys look at this, I literally got a 4K and I got this guy messaging me 30, I mean, this guy's sending me 30 invites. I literally, I'm not even kidding. When I went to my message inbox here, my, my party invite, it showed a number 18 up there. I joined halfway through the match when it showed 18 invites and then it, it dropped back down to zero. Even though all the invites were still there, it dropped back down to zero. And you know, cause I, I opened it, it, it marked it as red, right? It marked it as a red uh, message or invite, whatever. And so when I came back, you guys saw there was 11 more. So that's at least 30, 30 invites. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, literally constant for five minutes straight. I just kept getting invite, 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 invite. So and so wants you to join his party. So and so, I don't want to join your fucking party. Like, relax, Jesus. So anyway, that's that. You know, very toxic players. Be careful when you're playing with those players, especially this guy that's gonna sit here and try to speak for the devs. Obviously, from what it seems like, he's over here trying to say that you know he is a friend of a dev. When, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, you're friends with the dev, but why are you on fucking Xbox then? Why, if you're really that, you know, intrigued with this game and you're friends with the dev and everything, why don't you go play on PC? Then that's where it's all, you know, that, that's where they have everything set up on. And that's where they have the main, you know, game on and everything. And everything's, you know, ahead of, you know, Xbox. So I, I, Xbox is the, the furthest away from getting anything added in. I mean, PC, PS4 is ahead of Xbox at this point with everything. So, I mean, honestly, that's what it just, it just kills me. So... I'm sure if I go to my um, if I go to my reputation page, let me see. I'm actually kind of curious to see. So right now I have I want to show you guys this. You guys look at this. I have from this is from six months ago. Um, so this is over a six month period. I have 133 unsporting reports, 80 cheater, 11 voice messaging, 35. You know all the random shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this page for you guys and. Um, I'm gonna sign in again, I gotta sign in. And I just wanna show you guys, because if you guys remember, there was 133 and like 80, I think, for the other side. So I just wanna show you guys real quick, just to see if they actually um, ended up, like all those people reporting. Let's just see, just, just out of curiosity, let's just see um, how, what this looks like. So, I mean, I honestly feel like this guy probably does this with everybody, to be honest with you, because, I mean, if he's over here doing this to me, just be and he's not even in the game, I mean, he probably just does this to everybody, just, just to see if he can like, you know, scare them a little bit, and just because he's, you know, um, frustrated for whatever the for whatever the reason is, he's not even playing in the game, and you know, he's over here doing that. So, um, okay, there we go. So, yep, we got eight reports for unsporting. So they eight people reported me. All eight people in that party reported me. Um, I had one person report me for cheating, so that was one person. Um, one person for messaging. I think that was thirty four earlier, right? So yeah, we had eight people report me for unsporting there. So um, yeah, good job, bud. That's, that's great. So I'm definitely going to make sure that I go ahead and uh, I'm going to make sure that I, I call Microsoft and, you know, I'm going to get ahead of this before, you know, because I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, I, I did. That's so unfair. You know, you got these people literally, you know, they're telling you exactly they're all going to report you. They're all going to do this. They're all going to do that. Half of them aren't even in the game. I mean, literally, this should be 134 right now. That should not be a 138. That should be a 134. Because if you guys look here, how many people are in this game? How many people are in this game other than me? Four people. So why is there eight people reporting me? When there's four people that should be reporting me if they choose to, there's eight people. So that's just unfair. That's double the people reporting you when they have no business reporting you in the first place because they just choose to because they're friends with the person. So that, that, that's just frustrating me, you know? That's really frustrating me because you know, I get these type of threats all the time and normally the reports don't actually come through and they usually just say just to fucking, you know, just to scare you a little bit and you know, whatever, which I don't even care. Honestly, they can do that all they want. I, I really don't give a shit anyway. I mean, if they want to scare me, I'll, I'll, I'll buy into it. Oh, sorry, oh, you know, whatever. So don't report me. Just so they don't fucking do it to me because I don't want to get reported. You know I mean? It ruins your reputation. I'm in the green right now. If you guys look, if you guys look at this, I'm like in the green and I only went to this right here. I only went down that way because I was playing as a survivor and that was the time where people would continue to abuse the decisive and you know all those other perks of survivors before they nerfed everything. 
they would abuse those. And I would message them and I would say, you know, because they would start messaging me and be like, oh, you're a trial or whatever. I'd be like, yeah, well, you're the one that's, you know, over here using these trial or perks. And then they get upset and they would report me just because I, I sat there and I called them out on those perks. So, I mean, it's frustrating to me that, you know, my reputation is great all the way through. You know, look how long I've been playing, you know, at a time and haven't had any issues. And then now, bam, you know, you get all these reports. Look how far my unsporting category is just because people want to sit there and, um, you know, they want to accuse me of that. That's ridiculous, you know. So um, just be careful with these players because they will, you know, try to screw you over. And obviously, I really don't think anything's going to happen. Um, I don't want to, you know, jump the gun or, you know, try to, you know, get cocky or whatever. But, I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Playing the game how it is. I wasn't even camping. Like I said, I wasn't even camping. But they just wanted to kind of throw something out there. Like, oh, you were camping. Just so they could start this whole bullshit. Just because they want to start coming at me. So, I mean, it just gets frustrating. So, be careful with these players. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this Toxic Tuesday. This will probably be the last one for a while. This is going to be the finale again. But, um, the grand finale. So, <laughs> anyway. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, like I said, if I get some crazy messages, I may do another one. But... It just, this was a really crazy situation, and I just felt like this was very, very toxic. I wanted to get a recording of this, and I just thought, what better than to just make a YouTube video? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.